Batteries go all day, what can I say? Lots of power to them too, they're, uh, they're fabulous, I was amazed. You know, I used um, other brands before, the black and yellow brand comes to mind. And uh, it just, the batteries don't hold up. That was the, the, the biggest complaint I had with other stuff that I'd use. Uh, we use a lot of corded tools, obviously, but uh, we get in situations where we don't have the power there. You know, we get in these rural areas. And uh, we have a generator, but a lot of times you're up on roofs and this and that. And the, the, the cordless tools are the best in those situations. Um, and then you just get used to using them. And with this V28, the guys just weren't letting them go. Once the guy got used to the, the circular saw and the power, and the battery's not running out after two hours, then they just kept that saw all day long. If you're chasing guys around, look, where are the cordless tools? They're, they're the go-to tools for the situation. We use them all the time, every day, and the batteries were just, uh, that, that's what blew me away, was the, the life on the batteries, going, you know, four, five, six hours, whereas before, you use corded tools for chopping this, cutting that, drilling through this and that. Forget about it. These guys, once they had it in their hand, why am I using a corded tool? This is doing the job. I'm going through the masonry. I'm cutting through the floor. I'm cutting through the joists. I'm doing all this. Oh, this, this is my own personal tool now. You know, you'll have to go get your own. You pick one of these tools up, and you go, and you, and you can disappear. Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Guys, don't, you know, there's no excuse to go and have a smoke and have a coffee because you're waiting for the battery to charge up. <laughs> oh, my other cordless tools? Good question. The last time I saw them was in June. And they're in the bottom of a job box <laughs> or in my garage.